Hello guys, welcome to Pace Event. In this video, I am going to review API X Drive. Now, what this API X Drive will do for you? It will automate your work with code-free ready-made API integration. And they are claiming that that the alternative of Make Tray IO JPR and also they are the alternative of Public Connect. I think so. These are the things. And here, see, they are saying that it have 400 plus integrations and on JPR there have I think 3000 plus integration but as it's a new tool that's why they have 400 plus integration so depending on this number of total integration it have to go to fair away to compete with JPR I think but in this video I will review it and I will show you what are the integrations that are available on this API X drive but before that, if you see the lifetime deal pricing of APX drive, they are offering up to license tier 3 and these tiers are varying depending on this number of total connections and number of total action. And on license tier 1, it's 69 USG, you can get access of 250 connections and 50,000 actions. On the highest tier, it's 249 USG, here you will get 1000 connections and 200k actions and in all tiers total interval is one minutes these are the things and you will get all integration in every tier basically now without further doing let's go to the dashboard of apax drive guys and let's explore how things works here and how it can be helpful for um, us but before that uh, see it who can be helpful for this if you are a e-commerce website owner if you are a marketer if you are a manager if you are a it developers then they are claiming that you can be helpful by using this tool so if you want to get one jprl alternative or one public connect alternative then i think this tool can be helpful for you also now if you see the dashboard of this tool see here is the dashboard of apix drive and here i have created two connection already to test the tool and before creating new connection if you see the integrations that are available right now see these integrations are available right now ClickUp, Google Sheet, Notion, 8x8, Active Chat, Active Campaign, Acuity Scheduler. See, uh, let me see. Let me can think of it. Huh? Can think of it. See, let me scroll down it and uh, find your favorite tool from here because there have a lot of tools. So, if I read every tool here, then it will take a lot of time. Guys. See, their calendar is available and then their click send is available also constant contact is available contact form 7 is available convert kit is available here so a lot of famous tools are available here see discord is available here and then exchange date is available facebook is available and facebook messenger is also available here guys face disk is available here then fresh office is also available get response is available and a lot of google services available here see so gravity form is also available hubspot is available guys icloud is available and intercom is also available here jira is available jot form just click and then kajabi is available lead form lead plan live chat is available MailChimp available, then MailJet is also available, ManyChat available, see here is ManyChat and then Microsoft Dynamic 365 is also available, Outlook is available guys, Monday.com is available, that's really amazing and helpful tool guys. So these are the things guys, see lots of tools are available here and they are claiming there have almost 400 plus uh, integration, see Reply IO is also available here. Sales grid is available and SKSM is, is available, Slack available, SMTP. So you can also connect here your custom SMTP. That's really a great integration, guys. And then Telegram is available, TikTok is available, Trello available, Twitter available, Twilio available, guys. And then Webhook available. WhatsApp via service, Acebot is available, Wix integration is available, and then Yahoo is also available, and the last one is Joho CRM. 
these are the things guys i hope you get idea what tools are available right now but if you want to see what tools will be available in future here in their website they have added these tools will be available in future you can go to their website and here in the coming soon option you will see the tools that will be available in future so in future a lot of other tool will come also here these are the things guys i hope you get idea and here you have to connect your tools from here just click here connect and then it will be connected so it's very easy just you have to click here connect and then you have to authorize your tool and then it will be connected see i have click, um, connected here click up google sheet and notion already now i'll show you how easy to create one automation here just click here create connection you have to click here to this create connection and then at first you have to create your data source and then you have to trigger it i will show you everything is step by step so at first you have to select the system see here you will get all the system now for simplicity purpose let me here um, select google sheet you can select any source that you want or that you need basically i'm selecting here google sheet and then i'll just continue it then from here let's say uh, here they are saying indicate what action the robot will trigger get rows or get rows new let's say i'll select here get rows all and then if i continue it now you have to give the access and here if you do not connect your uh, tool already then you will get here one option by which you can connect your tool but I have already connected my Google account here. That's why I do not need to connect again. But if you want to connect multiple Google account, it's also possible. See, I have connected one of my Google account here. But if you want to connect more account, just click here connect account. Then you have to authorize your mm, account and then you will be able to connect more than one Google account here. Now, let's say I'll select this one that I have been connected previously and then I will continue it. And here in the data source section, you will see all your information. See, system is Google Sheet action is get rows by all access fly gardening which is my uh, google account name now here i have to give the sitting here uh, see and there have three spreadsheet in my this google account that's why i'm seeing here three spreadsheet if i go to this spreadsheet guys let me show you let me show you guys see here is my google account fly gardening and here i have three google sheet template see here are the three google sheet template and i am seeing this three google sheet template here in this section basically and from here i have to select one let's say i will select this alberto review video and then here i will select sheet one that means under this alberto review video template i have only sheet one if you have multiple sheet let's say sheet one sheet two sheet three then you will see all your sheet here and then you can connect any sheet that you want and then start data loading from row one two three anything that you want you can select here let's say i'll select here one and then i will continue let me continue it and then here you can add any filter if you want just click here add filter condition and then you can add any type of filter that you need basically these are the things guys i hope you get idea but i'm not adding any filter here but if you want you can add filter and this filter option is very important and then i will continue it and then see the next option is finished so i'll click here next so our data source has been connected now what we will do after collecting data from this source we have to select it let's say this google sheet is our data source so this apix drive will collect data from this google sheet now what this data will be done after collecting it now we have to set up it just click here start configure data destination so we have selected or we have uh, done our data source setting as of now now we have to uh, set up our data destination setting just click here start um, configuration data destination and then here you have to select the system now let's say in my case i will select here click up and in your case you can select anything that you want just select the destination platform and then continue so it's very easy and straightforward guys here indicate what action will be performed let's say i will 
add comment to task and then continue and here you have to select uh, the account you can connect more account from here i have already connected one account here and then continue and here you can give the comment now if i click on this comment here see there have a lot of uh, data source or system data now from where this system data they have gotten they have gotten this system data from the google sheet that i have been connected see i have connected basically this alberto review video this google sheet let me go to this google sheet see here is a google sheet and there have a column b column c column d column and here you can select on which column you uh, want to mention basically let's say i will add some comment here and let's say the comment will be here is your task on let's say column e see column e please do it before and then here you can select the date let's say before date this date before this date please do it so in this way you can also get the variable and then send notified um, yes and then you can specify it as a variable also the and the task id you can select the task id also from here let's say the task id will get from column a so these are the things and then if i continue it then the destination has been set up now if i click here next so it has been uh, done guys now i will enable the update and then it will start to run see it has been started to run these are the things guys i hope you get idea and here we have created this last one and here you can enable or disable this integration from here and then they have option for manual start you can start it manually you can copy this task or this connection and then they have some setting you can delete the task so the setup process of this connection on this apix drive is very easy and very straightforward but the number of integration here available is very less than other competitors i think see they have only 400 integration but their competitors have a lot of more integration so this tool is very new tool guys i hope they will add more integration in future if you think guys you need one jpr alternative or one automation tool that will help you uh, to create automation and that will help you to save your a lot of time then you can get this api x lifetime deal from AppSumo. i'll give the link of this api x lifetime deal in the description of this video you can get at least 10 percent discount on this pricing just to go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on apix drive lifetime deal and it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i'll get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pacement.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vape lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much guys for watching this video